Hi, it's Miss Lee. Today we're going to read this story called Pop, a book about bubbles. Look at all those bubbles. Dip the wand, the plastic wand, into the soap solution. Hold it up to your mouth. Now blow. You've made a bubble. Watch it float higher and higher. The bubble shimmers in the sun. Up it goes, up, up, then pop. It disappears. You can blow with small bubbles or big ones. You can blow one bubble or hundreds of bubbles. You can't blow square bubbles or flat bubbles. All bubbles are round. Bubbles are air trapped inside liquid. The liquid you put inside your bubble wand is made of water and soap. Sometimes it has a little corn syrup too. It is sticky. It sticks to the floor if you spill it. It sticks to your fingers when you touch it. And it sticks to the plastic bubble wand. It sticks and stretches. It stretches across the round hole on the end of the bubble wand. When you blow into the wand, you make air move. If you blow slowly, you can see how the air makes the soap on the wand start to stretch. As you blow harder, the soap stretches and stretches until it can't stretch anymore. Finally, it snaps free. The soap shuts around the air inside. There it is, a bubble. You don't have to blow to make a bubble. If you hold your bubble wand up into the wind, it, the wind will blow bubbles for you. You can also make bubbles by holding the wand up and running. Anything that moves air can make a bubble. If a bubble touches something like your hand or another bubble, it may have a flat side, or the wind may push the bubble and change its shape. But when a bubble is quietly floating in the air by itself, it is always round. The air inside the bubble pushes out against the soap skin. It doesn't push harder in one place or than another. It pushes evenly in every direction. This makes the bubble round. The soap skin holds the air inside. It pushes back against the air. If your hands are dry and you touch bubbles, they pop. Anything that pokes them makes a hole in the soap skin. Whoosh! The air inside rushes out. Even if you don't touch bubbles, they still pop. They dry out. Their soap skins shrink. Soon they can't hold all the air inside them. Pop! There are other kinds of bubbles too. The next time you drink soda, look carefully. At, at the bottom of the glass, you will see tiny bubbles forming. You can watch them get bigger and bigger. Finally, they get so big that they start to float up through the soda higher and higher, then pop. You can also make bubbles with a straw. Put one end of the straw in a glass of water or juice and blow. Bubbles float up through the liquid and pop. Water and juice aren't sticky like soap solutions, so the bubbles pop right away. Okay, milk is stickier than water. If you blow bubbles with a straw in a glass of milk, look at what happens. They will stay on the top of the glass for a while. They won't float through the air like soap bubbles. The milk isn't sticky enough for that, but milk bubbles look like soap bubbles. Whenever they are touching the glass or each other, they will be round. You can make tiny, tiny bubbles. You can make bubbles big enough to step inside. You can blow one bubble at a time or a whole stream of bubbles. But you can't make square bubbles. Bubbles are always round. Now, would you like to make your own bubbles? I made a solution of, it's got bubble solution, it's got water, it has honey, since I didn't have any corn syrup at my house. So let's go outside and see how it works. Okay, we're outside. I made a bubble wand with the bottom of a t-shirt and two sticks I found in my yard. And the bubble solution is down here. And let's see if, oh, there was a little bubble. The wind is making it hard to get some good bubbles, but the wind is helping me out by making the bubbles blow. Hi, you can also make a terrific bubble wand. This is just a plastic bottle. I took the bottom, I cut the bottom off of it. I put a sock, 
an old sock on the end so it looks like this. Then dip it down in and ready, blow through the opening, and you get a ton of fun bubbles. So, have fun!